Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of Dead State Reanimated. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it's just to join me today as we leave the world without coyotes. Yes, 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 yes. So last episode we killed them all, and uh, well, they didn't really have that much stuff to take uh, to take home. We do have a lot of fuel, but apart from that, I mean, most of this stuff is weapons that we don't need. I'm gonna bring that uh, AK-47. Uh, the rest of the stuff I'm gonna leave behind. I have Vic here full to the brim with stuff, mostly food and um, morale stuff, and the same happens here for Paul. And uh, James doesn't have anything. I will show you what I have in my trunk. Mostly it's ammo and uh, fuel. Look at that. 37.5 gallons of fuel. And a few special items as well, which are pretty good, but um, yeah, no, nothing really interesting. They didn't really have anything, any any fantastic weapon ready or anything. So let's just go back home. Uh, since I have some inventory space left, I'm probably gonna stop by here by the Dublin bar, see what what who leaves there or something, or probably just gonna be remnants of the coyotes or something, uh, or zombies. Uh, let's see, are there any zombie? Ooh, is this a bar? No zombies. I don't see any zombies. See a car with 3.5 gallons of fuel in it. That's pretty good. Pretty heavy as well, but pretty good. We have some stuff over here. I'm gonna take it. Okay, so when I said... I swear, guys. When I said who lives here, I didn't mean that... <laughs> I didn't mean that we'd find somebody up here. Because it's looking like we will find somebody up here. Because there are no zombies. Hello? No? Yep. I didn't know. I didn't know. We got to get our rings. We had those already. Hey, man. What's up? Man? Woman? Seems like a woman. Because of boobs. Agro is a weird name, though. Like, agro. Just, what kind of name is that? She's not agro, though, so that's good. I don't need the DVD player. Thank you very much. It's And it's interesting that, that she's not aggro because uh, I'm stealing everything that she has. So let's just steal everything before we talk to her. She's going to join us, of course. Man. It's a good thing that I stopped by. A really good thing. Uh, okay, so yeah, let's have a chat here with her. See what kind of voice she's gonna have. About damn time, Alan. Oh, you're not Alan. So what's your deal? Uh, well, it's um, I I'm looking for survivors. You realize that they are walking around uh, around out there, right? Ah, yeah, yeah. Sucks, huh? Anyway, you're alive. So do you know if there's a like somewhere safe around here? I'm kind of tired of pretzels, cigarettes, and shitty Texas beer. Side has balls, too. Uh, who else is here? Are you alone? Yep, all by myself. Well, uh, this guy Alan was here with me, but who knows if he'll be back. But if you're thinking of trying anything, then let me warn you, I got a shiv ready to go ass to eye, so keep your hands to yourself. Who's Alan? My manager. And my backing band. And my driver. And my ex. He, <clears throat> excuse me, he, t he can take care of himself. Fuck Alan. Well, well, are you sure you don't want to just wait for him? Nah, let's just go. Just let me pack my guitar and I'll be ready to split. By the way, I'm Agro. Agro? What kind of name is that? Well, it's short for fuck off there, explained. Mm, sounds sounds okay, right. Let's go. Okay, so fuck off is, uh, is now a member of our team, I guess. The full name, I guess, would be fuck off, but yeah. Good things. Good things happen to those who go to places. Let's go to more places and see who leaves there as well. Uh, at the biker bar. So a couple of bars. Eh, should we take a detour? I guess we can take a detour right through there. We got a... What? Proctor Lake. Proctor is the name of a person, right? I think so. And the biker bar. What does it... Ooh, why is there a cross? It is not, it's not a representative of where we are. It's just a loading screen. Hmm... Yeah, we're gonna find more coyotes, aren't we? We're gonna find more coyotes. Okay, well, let's kill them all, because that's what we're here for. Although, why are there two bars here? This is a dinner and bar, and over here, a diner and bar, rather, and this here is a n nameless place. Well, we do have gas masks. I, I came with the gas masks. Hello! Yeah, I came with the gas masks because we were ready for the military. They made such a big deal out of them. It's like, oh, you're gonna get your ass kicked. There's no way you're gonna kill the coyotes. There's gonna be death and terrible things are gonna happen to you. Well, guess what? Nothing terrible happened. And these those guys were wimps. So let's get ready for killing and... Where's the... Why is Regina... Why is she always... Okay, we're gonna need... Uh, she's got a grenade ready. I could... Just... Yeah, just wait. So that guy... 
Yeah, they don't have gas masks. That's gonna be bad for them. It's gonna be really bad for them. Okay, so I could take a few shots. Let's see. So we got one melee. No, we got two ranged and two melee. What does that guy have? That guy's got a Glock, I think. So I could switch this to f active. Let's do that and take a 90% shot that right there. 51 points of damage. And down he goes, or she goes, rather. Okay, so switch that to active. You're gonna take a shot next turn. You are gonna take a shot. And another shot was 66. And down she goes. Okay, so now you can kill that one. And uh, shoot that one. And wait. Let's see. Now Regina is going to move up. He's not going to be able to attack her, so Regina is going to stay there. We're going to have zombies crawling up our ass very, very soon, nonetheless. But with a two, two decibel noise, yeah. Okay, so this guy's decided that he doesn't really... Oh, mm, that he doesn't really want to go into melee range. That's a good idea. Not going to save him, but that was a critical. Nice. Not going to save him, but that's a good idea, nonetheless. Uh, let's bring that over there. He's almost dead, so down he goes. Take that one. Oh, there's guys coming from that side. It's not gonna save him either. That was two points of damage done to Regina. And this girl is watching everything from up here. It's like, hmm, these guys are good shots. They are good shots, they are. No, don't do that. Just kill him. There we go, fall back. And you're gonna take the damage if it comes. We got one zombie on the field, and uh, I would think that it's coming from that side, but I wouldn't know. 65% chance to hit that guy. Uh, I'd rather go with that. There we go. Let's take a couple of shots. Oh, I'm being lucky right now. Can't shoot again. Can't reload. Okay. Uh, now, it's my time. Let's call for... Um, and for the head. Not double time. I think I'm going to be able to take a shot. And down he goes. And... There we go. That's pretty good. I'm going to go with another one. And miss. Ah, come on. I dared, but I... We did not succeed. That was a miss. That was not a miss, but you need to reload. So do that. Why did you need to reload? Did you shoot that much? Hmm. Okay, that's 16 points of damage done to... Who? To me? James? Ugh. Okay. Regina, you can go up and kill that guy, or badly injured him at least. Fall back. Let's see what that guy does. He's got a shotgun, so that's not going to be too, too healthy. Three zombies on the field. That guy's coming in. He's going to die. This guy's going to die instead, though. Take a shot. And take a shot. Okay, just wait. Let's switch that to active and see if I can take a shot. And I can. That was pretty good. Now you can probably move in and take a few shots. Let's see what I can do. He's badly wounded. She's not going to die. It's kind of a problem. Let's see what Regina can do if she can go in. Sir, don't... You need to die. Hmm. Okay, can I go... Is that guy alive? Is that a guy... Yeah, it's an almost dead guy over here. Can't attack him, but I can move in. And if he shoots her, he's going to be in bad trouble. Because, Oh, these guys are going to be in bad trouble as well. They have zombies. Uh, okay, yeah. The zombies came in and uh, just wrecked the place. That's eight points of damage there to Regina. That's okay. I'm going to take that scout out. Probably. I am running low on ammo. Okay, switch that to active and you're going to use that soon enough now i want to take a couple shots at that scout over there 71 down he goes i will need to take care of that of the corpses there though down they go regina should be able to finish the job at least hopefully okay don't finish the combat no it's not because these guys oh he's racking zombie face good for you man good for you and for me as well i guess because i don't need to kill him Okay, that was 43. That was a critical 43 damage to him by the zombie. That was pretty nasty. Pretty nasty. So you're not going to shoot that right now. You're going to wait. You're not going to shoot that right now. You are going to wait. Uh, set that to active because that's going to be what we're going to need, I think. You're going to take that guy out and that guy out as well. Regina is going to do the rest. Yeah, that's what you get when you go up against. We don't have a name, though. You should have the na a name, but we don't. Oh, you missed him. Come on. There we go. Okay, so where's he going? What? Don't... Oh, yeah, there's a zombie coming in here. Oh, they're coming for me. Uh, that's okay. I don't mind that too much. Can kill that guy. Shouldn't kill that guy. I should kill this one instead. Yeah, I'm gonna fall back as well. And uh, don't shoot. Shoot that one. And shoot that one. And that was a kill. And wait. Now you're gonna kill that guy. Perfect, and move back, move outside, and oh, you get, there we go. So 
So that guy is interested in killing that one. The zombie just turns to him and go. Okay, that was pretty good. Uh, let's just set ourselves in position here. Get ourselves in position, I mean. Because that guy is going down with a quickness. Let's move you out there if you can. Yes, you can. And Regina can come back outside. Just be ready to attack. That's a kill. And he's coming our way. Yes, he is. What a dumbass. There's one zombie. There's another zombie over there. Okay. So, that was a misclick. Let's take a shot. Uh, let's take uh, let's take the zombie out, I guess, because we can. Ninety percent, hundred percent. He didn't die. Fifty-five points of damage, and he didn't die. This guy's going to die though. Down he goes. Reload, and we'll kill the zombie with Regina. Just move over there and wait for him. We need to kill that guy as well. The noise level, hundred thirty-four. I don't trust that too much. It might be. Too much. I don't know. I don't know. Set that to active. Reload and wait. You're gonna reload as well and wait. And uh, you are gonna reload that and wait. And now do this. Down goes the cop. And okay, that wasn't too bad. They were indeed coyotes. I'm just now noticing it. Didn't say. Didn't mention anything because, I'm, as I said, I'm just now noticing it that they were coyotes. And indeed, we are killing them all, as, sh as befits. Our party. So let's take that. Let's not take that. Let's take the porno. The porno is heavy as hell. One pound. One pound per magazine. That's like the be gotta be like the glossy magazines and all that. The, the nice looking ones. What is that? There's a zombie. There's another zombie. That was. I saw him move. I saw him move and I thought it was a zombie, but it was not. It was all good. Got a few of these guys. I want that weapon. Speaking of which, let's see. You don't have a weapon. Well, let's unload that. Just get the ammo. Which is weightless. Take that. Get that. Unload as well. That's six or eight? That was eight. Good. Uh, get that in there. Bring that. Bring that. Bring the beer, of course. Because, yep. I like beer. Everybody likes beer. Not not everybody, but... And on the shelter, everybody does. Except for Priscilla. Priscilla does. Thinks, she says that it goes to her head and she doesn't like that. She gets funny feelings in her tummy, so she doesn't... She doesn't indulge. Let's see, we got more ammo right there. What do we have over here? More ammo. Don't need these. Take that, take that, and take that. No, take that. There we go. And let's unload. Yeah, we're getting a bunch of 9mm. I mean, it's, it's expected, but still, we're getting a bunch nonetheless. We got some more fuel right there, and we're getting up there in terms of, um, of our inventory space. I'm going to bring that, and that, and that. So we need... Is that good? That's not good. Okay, we need one more pound to complete our inventory here. I hope we don't need to come back. Oh, you're already full? Damn it. Why are you full? Did I... Why did I bring that? I don't know why I'm bringing all this. What did I do? Oh, I picked up things before, I think. Oh, yeah, it was the... Oh, that's right. Okay. This is from... Um, this is from the uh, the first... The previous area. We, I picked up everything with him. So, yeah. That's that's what's going on right there. Man, I was confused. Uh, I don't need that. don't need anything of this. I do need... No, that's not you. The other guy. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, I do need that. Do need this. And I will leave this gun here. Because I don't need it. I'll bring that. And all the rest as well. We should be able to carry most of the stuff, if not everything. And uh, we are not going to need it either way. So, it's all good. Just leave that over there. We still have room as well. We have the, the car. We can dump some fuel over here if we need to. The parts are really not needed. I'm gonna bring all this. I can't bring all this. Why? Why is that? Bring all... Oh, yeah, because this stuff is very heavy. So, let's see what I can dump behind. I can... Uh, okay, so what do I need here? What do I actually need? I don't need that. I don't need this. Yeah, I don't need the, the healing supplies. It's too heavy. Take the toilet paper. Yeah. And over here we got... Oh, we have too much stuff. Well, it's a good thing because I have over here an AK-47. Somewhere somebody has an AK-47. That's going to be a Regina, right? Yes, Regina has an AK-47. Or 74, an AKA-7 or whatever the name of that thing is. So we are going to bring most of this stuff, if not all. I am concerned about this because this is usually very heavy, and it is. Uh, I'm going to bring that. I don't need one of these. Okay. So what's 10 pounds that we can leave behind? Well, we don't... <sighs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. But we don't need the food. 
We got cheese, yeah. We got cheese. We don't need the food. I can leave that. Yeah, let's leave that. I don't need that. What about this one? This fridge got more food. Yep, of course. We got some stuff over there. I'm going to bring that and one of these. And that's going to be that. There we go. Yeah, we don't need the food. We're going to leave some food behind, but it's all good. If we come through here. Oh, there's the motorcycles. So much stuff. Yeah, we're probably going to come here then. Just to take the stuff because why not? I mean, and we still haven't gone to the... Have we gone here? Have we gone in there? No. Okay, well, we need to loot all of this. So let's go back home, see the kind of stuff we got, and um, continue with our journeys. Because there's going to be a few, a few more. Okay, so let's go to the shelter. Uh, I'm kind of curious to see what's going to happen. Just in terms of uh, people who are going to say stuff and all of that. We should be able to go back up there to get that for today. Yeah, I don't see that being a problem. Let's see what the kind of stuff we got. 172 food, 113 fresh food. That's including the cheese and all of that as well. Three cheeses, that's pretty good. That's 30 pounds of cheese. We got 96 luxury items, 48 parts, and 4 antibiotics. That's pretty nice and good. Okay. Uh, I will need to take care of my inventory, though, because... Uh, oh, yeah, I also need to take care of my, of my uh, job board. I will need to take care of my inventory because we are taking too much stuff. It's not, it's not necessary. We got no job here for Ephraim. I need to talk to him. That's right. Oh, we can, yeah, fix up the car. Um, and Agro Moss, what is she? What is she? She is range three, melee three. She's not good. What is she good for? For nothing. For surviving, I guess. Um, mechanic, can she do anything? No, don't do that. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, she can do the. Oh, she can do bolts. What about them? What do they require? Parts? Five parts per bolt? Whoa. It's a lot of parts. We're gonna need a lot of parts. Um, okay, so she's just gonna... Oh, she can't recreate? Come on. Uh, okay, well, in that case, self-defense training, I guess. Just go go right ahead. Uh, relaxation relaxation with all these guys. That's all good. Let's have a chat with the people that we haven't talked to yet. Because we need to do that. I, although I have no idea where they're gonna be. So, do excuse me while I look around. We got Nathan over there. Amy and Vic. Uh, okay, so what is that? Mark, what is this? Oscar, Amy, Renee, Melina. It's all good. We got Doug over there or whatever. Ephraim. Hey, man, what's up? Let's hear it. Uh, I have a few questions for you. Sure you do. So how did you survive on your own? Oh, that's what I do. Stay out of sight, get into places with things I need, uh, not get caught. It's not exactly easy these days, but it's possible if you're as good as me. So you're a thief? Well, uh, so, so I'm a thief, huh? Well, what was you doing back there? I suppose you was finding food, that's it. And uh, rescuing that shit. Liberating the food. And uh, what they said about the white folks in Katrina. Yeah, well, it sounds like a handy set of skills you to have, that's all. Sure, but everybody's stealing these days. I used to con jewel sto jewelry stores, but I was never a thug. A thief's a gentleman. A thug doesn't need a reason to kill you. That's everyone left now. Well, world of thugs, and the ones that weren't so good at that at the game. Yeah, well, I had a few more questions then. Uh, how, how would say your skills are? Well, if you really need to know, I'm a pro when it comes to locks. That, and I'm lucky with a black cat crosses in my when a black like a black crosses my a black cat crosses my path and smacks right into a patch of catnip. Hmm, he's lucky then. Hmm. So. Oh, not that I like the tested though. I've been shot at way too many times for one lifetime. Overall, I'm not a fan of guns. Don't like them. Don't use them. Well, it's no time to argue about gun use. It's dangerous. You don't need to carry on. You need to carry one. I'll carry one. Get you in any. Uh, get you into any gun safe you point me at. But I'm not using one. Too many bad experiences with them. Don't ask me to. Okay, it's fine. Um, so is there anything you think is missing here at the school? I enjoy tinkering with locks and other mechanical devices just to keep my skills sharp. Let's just say for a few years, machining parts was the highlight of my days. So do you mean you were in prison? Ah, oh, because I'm black man, I was in prison. Okay, yeah, I, w I was. Twice. But one time, well, that wasn't my fault. Look, if anything, prison got me a lot better at dealing with messed up situations than fucked up people. Call it practice. But I've done a lot better these last few weeks because of it. So what were you in prison for? First time, wrong place, wrong time. Then when I got out, it wasn't exactly easy to go legit. These days, was a criminal, always a criminal. After a while, I just accept that. Second time, that was my fault. I, I got pretty good at scamming places. Fake name, fake background, talk with a lot of yes sirs and no ma'ams. Everyone wanted to hire me, all skinny and polite and non-threatening. A little charm, a little time, and I cleaned up out. Cleaned them out. Yeah, nobody got hurt, not my style, but... I played the game too many times. You know, I was in court, about to be hit with the third strike, and that's when the dead showed up. 
had to let me go. Lucky me, huh? Yeah, that's lucky you, I guess. Uh, just be on the lookout for him trying to scan, scam us. I'm not sure if he's going that route, but... Well, he had a motivation, I guess. Just needed the money. I guess that's not really a motivation anymore. Um, um, yeah, I had a, another question then. Uh, change my mind. Okay, so what do you want? Yeah, anything that would improve your mood. I'm glad you asked. Let's see. Got to have my hot sauce because that's just how we do food where I was raised. Rechargeable batteries would be good too. It's hot as hell in here and I'm going to need a portable fan if I'm going to get any sleep. Well, you probably need a, a powered fan if you want that. So let me uh, let me write down what he needs. He's got... Uh, let's see, he's got, he's got, he's got batteries, let's write it down, and what's the first one? I'm, I'm writing it down right now. Batteries, and the first one was hot sauce, yes, that's right, okay. Still need to talk to a couple more guys, I think, but I'll see what I can do. I'll see what I can do. Where's the other guys? I think it was, uh, the mechanical dude, mechanic dudes, yeah, Jody. What? So, anything that would improve your mood? I don't know. I'd like to go home with my brother, I guess. Oh, did I talk to him before? Can I ask you a question? So what are your skills? I can fix cars. Okay, what's going... You told me to come with you to the school. Right, let's... Yeah. So do you understand what's going on? Yeah. So has everyone ever... Oh, he's autistic. Because I'm medical? Awesome. Has ever, anyone ever called you autistic before? I'll, I heard that once, I think. I'm not retarded. Well, I know. I had another question. Oh, uh, okay. So, just leave him alone, I guess. Let him be. I don't know how to deal with autistic people. But I guess, just leave him alone. He doesn't... Is he happy? Hopefully he's happy. Oh, I can bring my medical up. Let's see. Uh, bring him down here. Uh, Jody is content. That's okay. Ephraim needs some... Uh, cheer me... Pick me ups, I guess? Yeah, so cheer me ups. That's what I was gonna say. Everybody else is very, very cool. Very, very good at it. could do him some recreation, I guess. But he, if he likes cars, he's probably going to be happy if he is working on the car. Uh, Agro. Did I want to talk to you? I think I did. Yeah? So, anything that would improve your mood? Well, if, I, if he can be smoked, I'll take it. Cigars, pot, whatever. Not like I'm worried about lung cancer anymore. Well, maybe you should. So, let me write it down over here. I, I'm, I've run out of room in my, my, my single sheet. Okay, so I need Agro here. Uh, she's going to want a cigar. And weed. There we go. I have both. A lot of them. I don't need to give her that, but... Also, let's level up our medical. There we go. And now we are going to be at 8. I wonder if that's going to bring... Uh, if we're going to bring up another... Another... Option here. Hey, Davis, what's up? No. Uh, no. I don't want to talk to you. I'm not going to fix your, uh, your thing. Uh, your, whatever you have. I don't know what he has. Uh, so, yeah. Nothing... Oh, can I? Let's try that again. Maybe, maybe it's like a second check or something. Uh, yeah, nothing. Okay. See you later, Jody. And we have talked to everybody, which means that we are done for the talking part. So let's uh, take care of my inventory, and we'll go right out. And we're done. I was in, I basically was just dropping some stuff, not really much else. I'm gonna take the not the. I'm not gonna take the car now. Uh, I am probably gonna refuel it, I guess. But let's let's have the guys just deal with the with the upgrades. I'm not sure if they were actually working on the upgrades. So yeah, we're gonna take the same team. We're going back up to there to the. No 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 no. Load quick save. Yes yes. I I yeah. I took the car. Forgot about that. Sorry. Uh yeah. I still back. Oh where am I? Disorientated. That's where I'm. Oh there you go. Yeah. Let's keep going. Uh I also healed myself. I had 14 health. I didn't notice that. Why did I not notice that, man? That was. That was stupid. Uh, now the, the horses are gonna basically be the same speed. I think we're, I think we're gonna be okay to reach before 8 p.m. Uh, so that was 2 p.m. for us. We need, yeah, no, we're gonna, yeah, the team is gonna be tired, I guess. Ah, it's fine. It's all okay. It's not a problem. Uh, and uh, let's loot this thing. So what exactly? We are leaving stuff back here, weren't we? Oh man. Uh, yeah. Let me loot this, and I'll be right back. And I ended up taking pretty much everything except for nah, except for nothing. I took the, all the crap because uh, there wasn't all that much over here anyway. So yeah, we took all the stuff. It's all good. Let's go back down. Uh, we could yeah we're, we could we could stop over there by that abandoned farm and uh, just farm a little bit. I d although I don't know if the guys that we have here are good for survival. They might not be. So mm, 
Well, let's hope. Yeah, we're not gonna reach before 8 p.m. Almost, but not. Not before. So let's go there and, uh, yeah, let's finish the day. That was a pretty good day. That was a pretty good day. The day that we killed, yeah, we didn't really bring anything. We brought some fuel, some food as well, but yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, the day that we killed the coyotes. The day that we killed the coyotes. That was awesome. Awesome. That will show everybody, including the cops, because the cops are after us. Including the cops, that will show them not to mess with us, because they will die. They will die. Now, I don't think Regina is better than Max. That said, I'm probably going to keep her around for a little while longer. Just get her to know, get to know her as a character a little bit more. She's been doing well. Max is way better, though. The problem with Max, Max, does Max has eight or nine? I think he has nine action points. If he doesn't, that's a problem. Let's just have Vic, Vic didn't really bring anything. So we're good. Let's go to sleep. I actually, did we check the radio? I think I did. Wasn't he something that's saying about a kid or something? Oh, uh, yeah. He talked to a few people. Yep. And also, let's look at the data items, because, uh, yeah, I think we have brought a few as well. No, 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 no. Go back. Let's read data. Oh, what? Okay. Whatever. Um, let's see. We got this one. Not What? Nauseated? No. That's got a V. What the, what the hell is that? I don't know. Uh, we got something else over here. That would be putrefying. No, that makes no sense. Uh, let's see what we have over here. Uh, build up? Bubbled up? but. Deep blo double, double, no, I don't know. <laughs> I'm awesome at this. Free, friendly, friendly? Is it friendly? No, friend. Fr it could be friendly. It is friendly. There we go. I don't care what's happening outside. We are finished. We're finishing this game. Dribbler message. What kind of? What? Okay. And this is another dribbler, dribbler, dribbler message. And I can't decipher that one either. Okay, let's go back upstairs and go to sleep. See what kind of things we got for today. And tomorrow I think we're going to need some uh, some uh, energy drinks to get everybody going. Let's go to sleep and see what happens. 264. That was a lot. How did we get that much? So we got the morale gain from luxury items. But still, that's just... I think that's going to be normal. Parts found. Oh, we got parts found bonus as well. That's pretty cool. Uh, upgrade complete. Uh, all negotiation skill bonus. Yeah, well, I don't know. I don't know. Our antibiotics are holding steady. Our food is going up. How much did we get? 213. Yeah, a lot. Just a lot. A lot. Hey, Doug, what's up? Uh, perhaps you can tell me why I'm not worthy of being part of those ma meetings that you and Davis put together? As I'm one of the most important and respected people in the shelter, it seems like an oversight. Or maybe you were just lying about me being important here? Hey, just that if I'm in there, I need someone to keep the rebel out of the meeting. It's just... Oh, yeah, of course. Because you can't trust them not to take care of everything and not to take everything and stuff their faces with the while the adults, the adults have their back turned. Well, don't worry. I know how a fool thinks and I'll be watching them. <laughs> you know how a fool thinks? That's not a good thing to say. Hey, Davis, what's up? Oh, yeah, from what I'm hearing on the radio, sounds like the coyotes have fractured following Marshall's death. I guess things really have changed, because I'm kind of glad you took care of him. There's probably a whole lot of others that feel the same way, too. Going from barely alive to taking down one of the, one of the most dangerous men in Texas? That's quite an impressive feat. Yeah, in about a month as well, or less than a month, a month actually. Well, I'm sure he won't be the last. Let me know if you hear anything else. Hey, Ephraim, what's up? Uh, what can I do for you on this fine day, officer? Oh, it's, it's talking to, to Vic. Oh, he's over there. <laughs> They're over here. They're just off to the side. Oh, can I... Can the act, man. I'm not sure how you conned your way in here, but I'm warning you. You're in my town, and you better behave like I'm watching you every damn second of every damn day. Well, well, a racist, racist cop from a redneck town wants a black man to behave himself. That about it? What's this about, Vic? I'll tell you what's it about, says Ephraim. It's about some old-fashioned home-cooked redneck cop hate up in here. Don't try to play that racist cop card here, son. But you remember me? San Antonio? Seven years ago? I can't say I do, officer. Ephraim Montag. Picked you up from for attempted burglary when your, when your driver gave you up. I remember, because I had to do the paperwork. Oh, that was a long time ago, and I did my time. But I guess I'm always going to be guilty in your eyes, huh? Even when that badge you're wearing don't mean shit anymore. 
I've seen your record. You've spent your whole life stealing. Not here. Not with me around. Yeah, you better both... You both better shake hands and put your grudges behind you. This hands now, Vic. And Ephraim as well. How about it, officer? You want to put your years of in institutional racism behind us and paint some rainbows in the cafeteria? Uh, not happy with this either, but I have other shit to worry about anyhow. Well, I guess we'll see how this works out. Got my ideas. We'll see. Hmm, both of you got... Go get your assignments. Dismissed. Hey, Vic, what's up? Yeah, I got an issue with that new guy, Ephraim. Man's a thief, and I've dealt with enough of them to know that you can trust them. Just a matter of time before he cleans up out, cl cleans us out, and he needs to go before that happens. Okay, Vic, he here's the deal. You get rid of him. Oh, wait a minute, that's not the deal. Yeah, let's go with the leadership here. Oh, wait a minute. What? My negotiation to get rid of Ephraim? Why would I want to get rid of Ephraim? I mean, he did seem pretty eager to come here, but I don't want to... I don't want him gone. Hmm. I think I, I just want people to survive. He, he's not going to survive out there. Hmm. Anyway. So what happens to him when I kick him out? Death? For former crimes? Uh, I can do that. No, he doesn't deserve death. You're right. But I will be watching him closely. Make no mistake. Yeah, watch, but don't harass him. You come to me if there's a problem. See ya. Hey, Craig, what's up? Craig steps gingerly into the room and leans on the doorway as if, he'll, as if he's afraid it'll scoot away from him. Hey, I don't know if it's a near thing or whatever, but something's got my sense of balance pretty fucked up right, right now. Maybe I could take a day to kind of sort myself out so I'm not wobbling all over the place. Well, there's no real downside to use this, so let's just go. Yeah, I could really use your help, Craig. I wouldn't tell you to try and push past this if it wasn't important. Yeah, it's probably and it's probably just gonna be for the morning or something. It's gonna be fine in the afternoon. Uh, okay, I don't know how great it'll be, I'll be at anything for a while, but I'll try to push past this. Yeah, best of luck. Hey, Doug, you again? Uh, yeah, as, as for this morning, I'm locked in a battle with the flu. All I need, all I need is a day to think my fever away. Uh, mind over. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, don't take that as a sign of weakness. I wanted to think I I I wanted to think it's winning. Uh, yeah, take one day to get some rest, Doug, because I don't want that to, to get into other people. Good. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a germ to negotiate with, and it's going to go badly for it. Okay. And with that, I think we're out of time for the episode. So, I'm Colonel RPG, and this has been Dead State Reanimated. I really hope you've enjoyed it. And if you did, go ahead and leave a comment, like the video, but above all, thank you so much for watching, and I hope I'll see you next episode. Bye-bye.